No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. And as you can see, it is a pretty gloomy day here in the Netherlands. And I was just browsing through the lifestyle design community and I noticed a conversation about my previous Loom video that I posted here on YouTube, which was basically about how you can do outreach in video form by using a free plugin called Loom and it's for Google Chrome. Like I said, it's completely for free. They do have a paid version, but it's not necessary to get, especially not when starting out. And what it will allow you to do is basically record a quick screen share video so they can see your screen as well as your face. And uh, you can basically give a mini audit of the you know the potential social media marketing clients um, social media pages etc and then when you are finished you click on uh, end the loom and it will generate a link for you which you can then send on to your potential clients and uh, as soon as they view it or the first time that gets viewed you also get a notification so you know exactly when to follow up with this potential social media marketing client and when i uh, published that video it immediately sort of went well I wouldn't say viral but you know it is now one of my most viewed videos on this channel but I still get a lot of questions about Loom and what and what they need to say and you know some people will just send me like a literally just a link of someone that they're looking at like a potential social media client and ask me you know what would I say in this situation so I thought I'd do like a little mini follow-up video uh, to that previous video because it did so well and just give you guys some tips and tricks on what you can say and what to look at prior to sending the loom video so all I'm going to do today is hop on the computer and I'm actually going to show you live what I would say to a potential social media marketing client and what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to send this loom video as well so uh, stay tuned for that and like I said uh, we're going to hop on the computer right now okay guys and here we are and like I said it's it's very dark here in the Netherlands as you can see here like uh, basically my image is, is uh, completely blacked out and um, so for those of you that are in the lifestyle design mastery program etc you guys will know how I find ecom clients and like my specific methods uh, for finding those clients but for now uh, just you know just to keep this video short and to the point um, I've just typed in yoga plus Shopify and I'm on page seven now and um, so we just click on the, the first one uh, which I already have done just to check it out make sure it is a right fit and um, so as you can see this is a, a website uh, website it's a web shop um, with Shopify you know one thing I like to do just to double check that it is Shopify this will be because obviously you know I literally googled Shopify plus yoga but what you can do is if you have a web shop and you're not 100% sure what kind of software etc they use you can find a, a free plugin called a uh, Wappalizer, which is on the um basically you know the chrome extension um store and as you can see here it will show you exactly what is being used and what is being done so as you can see here this is a shopify store they use google analytics they also have a, the facebook widget and for those of you that understand any of what it says here um you can see what kind of javascript libraries etc they use um for me this is all just foreign language uh, i just usually look at is it a shopify store is it wordpress is it wix and so on and so forth so that is the first little mini plugin i use again completely free um just Google it, um, just type in Wappalizer free Google Chrome extension. Second thing I do is I check if they have the Facebook Pixel installed, which uh, these people do. And quick tip, because I've made this mistake a lot in the past, what I will do is uh, switch off my ad blocker. So let me just switch this off right now. Uh, why? Because if I have my ad blocker off, sometimes the the, the pixel won't fire same goes for cookies if you see that a website has cookies make sure that you accept them first because that might actually block the the pixel and then you send a, a loom video saying that they're leaving money on the table and they just come back here and say listen we've got the pixel you just didn't check uh, correctly so make sure your ad blocker is off and then check if they have the Facebook pixel installed which they do then what i like to do is i like to go to the shop and click on a specific item just to see if they have any kind of custom events installed, which they do. So as you can see here, they've got a custom event 
um, attached to view content. And then what I'm guessing if, well, okay, this is sold out. Let me just find one that's not sold out. Um, try this one, add to cart. And then what I then do is check if they also have the add to cart pixel again. Um, make sure the ad blocker is off. So don't run on any pages on this site. Exclude. There we go. And then as we can see here, they have not got the add to cart, which is strange because they have got view content. And then when you go to cart, there is no add to cart pixel, which is strange. Update cart. Let me see if anything changes. Ah, uh, there we go. No, still not. Okay, so the button click has been detected, which means that they know that someone's clicked on the button. But for some reason, there is no add to cart custom event. Okay, so that is interesting. That is something that you can take away. You can mention that the add to cart button is either not there or not working correctly. Second thing I've noticed is they've got a lot of buttons here. Shop, pay, PayPal, etc. That can also impact uh, the tracking. So, for example, if you're just tracking people who add to cart in the original way and pay with the original payment method on Shopify and you're not tracking all of these others, you know, the return on ad spend or the amount of purchases uh, might be skewed in the business manager. So that's another thing I check uh, then. Like I said, I just go through the flow as if I am a customer and just check what is going on in terms of um, the pixel. So they are tracking the initiate checkout, but not the add to cart, which is quite an important part of the flow because we want to know if people drop off before or after uh, the add to cart phase because that is obviously what you can optimize for. So that is another thing that you can do. Then um, if you understand like how the pixel works, etc., what you can also do, let me just quickly remove this from cart, um, which is also a way of seeing if the pixel is installed correctly. What you can do is you can go to inspect and then go to console and then basically you can see what is going on on the page. So if you go to shop and then pro yoga mats, you can see what is changing when the clicks are happening, etc. on the page, yoga. And now what I want to do is see what happens to the add to cart button. So as far as I can tell, there is no like add to cart feature, which is, uh, like I said, that is, it's uh, peculiar because they have got all of the other features, but okay. So that is done. So we've checked Wapalizer to see what kind of store it is. We've checked if the Facebook Pixel is installed and we've gone through the flow to make sure that, um, you know, they actually have the custom events installed. So apart from the add to cart, that seems to be okay. Second thing I then do, or seconds, I think we're up to like four by now. I check their socials there we go okay so this is the instagram page where it looks very clean so we've got a big amount of following obviously you know you can go into full sherlock holmes mode and see if um, the followers are real so we don't see any uh, a lot of indian followers uh, if you don't see them then obviously you know the chances are that is uh, a real following other than that you can check the content check the engagement and to be fair it's quite low 82 likes on a page that's got 48,000 followers. Again, the algorithm is uh, not what it used to be anyway, so there's not much um, I'll comment about that. Then in terms of the page transparency, we can check if they are running ads and they are not. Okay, so that is another thing that we can mention. They are not running ads and they are uh, and the add to cart custom event doesn't seem to be installed correctly. So uh, that for me is enough basically to create the loom. Um, what we could also do is just go through that buyer's journey. Um, so go to the shop, just see if everything on the whole is easy to navigate. Um, to be fair, this is a very clean looking store. Um, you know, I, I work with Shopify stores on a daily basis and not all of them are uh, like this. You know, there are a lot of messy stores, stores that just aren't uh, very friendly. Another thing you can actually check is um, if they are mobile optimized, by the way, which is something that I always forget to do actually. Um, so what you can do here is see what it looks like on iPad and then on mobile it will look something like this. You can always double check this on your phone as well. Um, but yeah, that looks good. So like I said, the, the only real things that we can mention now are obviously um, the add to cart feature and the ads. One last thing which I can show you guys, which I noticed that they already had installed correctly, is if you go to the Pixel. 
So as you can see here, it says the pixel is not paired with any product catalog. Please associate this pixel with it. So it means that these people are not using a, a catalog for the advertisements. So uh, for the pixel. So what you, what they can't do is retarget someone with a specific product. For example, this one. Um, I've noticed that they have got the custom parameters set, so they can do some kind of retargeting. But there is no catalog installed, which means that, again, they are leaving money on the table and they are missing out. So catalog, the add to cart feature, and they are not running ads. And that is what we can uh, mention to this potential client. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just remove everything here, start all fresh, and then send them a quick Loom video. So here we go. So this will be a live uh, Loom, what I will send to the client. So here we go. Three, two, one. Hi there, my name is Joshua Daniel George. Hope you're doing well and staying safe uh, from the coronavirus, which is obviously something that we are all dealing with at the moment. Um, so I was actually doing some research online uh, for a client of mine and I stumbled upon your um, your website, uh, Lavi Bohema Yoga. And um, I, ju I just need to say, you know, it looks extremely clean and just the whole buyer's journey is very streamlined. And, um, you know, I can see this uh, becoming a very successful store. And I just wanted to quickly mention a few little things that I noticed while going through your flow. Obviously, I'm looking at this from a marketer's point of view, uh, not necessarily a, a consumer point of view. So maybe, you know, these tips and tricks can help you uh, improve that buyer's journey and get more sales for your store. So the first thing I noticed is that you do have the pixel in store, which is great, which means that you can track people that are on the website, etc. Uh, but one thing I noticed, if you go to the Pro Yoga Mats, for example, and we add a yoga mat to cart. There we go, add to cart. See, as you can see, I've already tested this out uh, previously. But as you can see here, uh, just waiting for it to load. As you can see, there is no add to cart events with your pixel, which means that you can't track who is um, you know, adding items to cart, which is peculiar because if you check out, you do have the initiate checkout button. Um, now, obviously, that is quite a integral part of the flow. You know, We need to know who is added to cart and of the people that are adding to cart, how many people are dropping off, which is something that you can't uh, correctly now monitor and manage. So that is one thing that I do need to mention, you know, that uh, that could basically make your flow not as streamlined and as optimized um, as it would be if you did have that. Second of all, uh, another thing I noticed again with the pixel is that you don't have any type of of catalog installed, which uh, basically allows you to retarget people more specifically. So for example, I have now added that item to cart, the yoga mat, and you know, we, we all have this, you know, life gets in the way, uh, we get distracted, someone calls us, etc., and we leave the store, we abandon the cart with an item in it. There is no way for you to now retarget me very specifically with Facebook ads. Yes, you can run a retargeting campaign, um, but you can't show that exact item to me with a catalog uh, campaign, which um, I highly recommend you do because it's more specific. You know, If someone sees that exact item that they've added to cart, they are much more likely to click on it and um, you know complete that purchase as opposed to just a generic campaign with the same uh, the same make or same brand. So that is another thing that I would like to mention. Um, and obviously, this has everything to do with the Facebook ads, which you are currently not running either. Um, especially now with everything that is going on with COVID nineteen, this is probably the best time to run Facebook ads because of the high conversion rate. So everyone is now at home. Everyone is scrolling social media. You know the the off of work. You know they're still getting paid, but the you know the off. They're on the phones. They're bored. They're scrolling down social media. This is the best time to target those people because we know where these people are. You know, we no longer need to find these people because we know where they are. They're at home. They're on the social media. They're on their phones. They're scrolling. So that is definitely something that I recommend is now to run advertising campaigns through Facebook because with all the data that Facebook has, you know, now is the best time to laser target those those audiences and find people that are interested in yoga because, like I said, they are on their phone and because less people are you know, basically now running Facebook ads, the CPM is lower as well, which means that you can um, basically target people more cheaply 
but get more conversions. So um, yeah, I do value your time. I don't want to keep this video too long. I am rambling on here. But if you find this interesting, I do have a few more ideas for you, which will definitely help your store get more sales and more conversions. So if you find this interesting, what I'll do is I will leave my calendar link along with this uh, email. And then, uh, like I said, if you find this interesting, we can hop on a quick call and uh, see if it's a right fit for each other and see if we can potentially work together on this. So uh, like I said, thanks for your time and uh, hopefully we can speak soon. Okay, so that is the Loom video and literally guys, that is all it is, okay? It's just a casual conversation where I mention a few things that they are doing right, a few things that they are doing wrong. I piqued their interest by saying that I've got a few ideas for them and then from there, you know, I ask them if they want to hop on a call. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video now. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave this with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. My goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you enjoy my content, if you've watched this content, then please support this channel by clicking on that subscribe button. For those of you that really want to start their own social media agency and basically follow in my footsteps so that you two can work from your laptop and live that laptop lifestyle, work from anywhere, in whatever in the world then i do offer a, a coaching program where i literally you know teach you exactly that i'll take you on as a personal client and i'll work on your agency you know literally build it out from the inside help you get your first client so that you can scale your agency and automate it as much as you possibly can so that you can live that laptop lifestyle uh, but like i said you know if you want to know more about that i will leave a link in the description box down below with that said i'm wrapping up this video now so thanks again for watching and see you all in the next one